We got another one in King Street and one in uh, Circular Quay as well. Yeah, we roast and blend and brew and do all that sort of stuff. Some of our Dark Horse blend on offer, which has components of Kenya, Colombia and Ethiopia. I actually had a coffee, the, 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 the Brazil, for Vena Barrera, uh, which was uh, really nice. My first time tasting coffee on this machine, and it's a coffee that Paul and I actually bought together from Brazil. I had, a, I had a first sample of it, and it was, yeah, the cup quality is really, really nice. Yeah. But it had really nice texture sweetness um, and great length too. Lots of industry people come and drink and see the new machine. I work for a coffee uh, coffee roasting company, Bella Rama Coffee. My job really is like, uh, experimenting, QA, R&D, because the prices of green beans have, have doubled in the last year. There's been a lot of that in the media lately. And Grocers have had to pass that on, cafe owners have had to pass that on. A lot of cafe owners were scared that it would impact their business, but it doesn't seem to be yet. Yeah, that said, the quality of coffee all over Australia over the last five years has improved substantially and it's, it continues just to go up and up and up. We, we decided three and a half years ago that we wanted to produce an espresso machine that could produce a coffee like the guys can do here with this equipment. I think mean, you've got three guys here that will answer any technical questions. We want to hand the night over to, to the machine. Thank you again. And I hope that everyone has a play. There's a couple of coffees, because if we don't keep you up till midnight on the caffeine here, we probably haven't done the right thing at a coffee launch. As a price point that's commercially relevant, is, that'll be interesting to see how that goes. I'm looking forward to having a... Having a play. play with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doing it a test, test run. <laughs>